Welcome back everyone to another plein air painting demonstration presentation video. <laughs> All right, so I'm starting off with the use of a brand of pen that I'm trying out. It's called Tombow. Kind of had to try it almost for the namesake, right? <laughs> so um, I'm using it to just put in some simple lines to follow as I do my watercolor work over the top. It is water soluble, so it'll blend in with the watercolor and really won't uh, show much when the finished piece is done. But I'm using it as a way to just more clearly see my lines as I paint, but also to let them blend in and pretty much disappear. And maybe, I don't know, maybe leave the graphite pencil behind. We'll have to see. So I'm starting off with my usual approach, a wet into wet, putting in some of the patterns of the sky. Now as I do wet into wet like this, that initial wet layer, unless I paint it with greater intensity, it's going to dry pretty light. And so I will probably, actually you will see me go over that again. So yeah, that's our subject for the day. Just these nondescript little hills, I love the way the light was playing on them. That's what gets me up in the morning <laughs> and gets me going. Okay, so I'm using a cane, a walking cane that I cut off of my red birch tree in my yard. has a nice little crook in the wind end, makes a nice little handle. And it's working as a mall stick, an artist mall stick here. So basic block in again, and I pretty well know where my focal point is it needs to be, and that is those hills. I want to lead you into those hills, and so I'm putting intense color and contrast there compared with the other parts of the painting so that your eyes will be led to it. I want you to look and wonder what could be up in those hills. <laughs> had to wear gloves because of how chilly it was with the wind and uh, it's actually kind of a warm day otherwise but that wind was cold and biting enough. Now there I'm using yellow ochre, naphtha red light and a bit of and quite a bit of cerulean blue to come up with what I feel is a good start for the color of sagebrush. It's a very unique kind of green. And we're coming down very quickly to the end of the block in stage from here. It's just a matter of laying in the light and the shade patterns and basically finishing the painting out. Okay, I'll go ahead and play a little music for you here, and I'll see you on the other side.
Well, okay. We're just finishing up here. I'm just putting in some last bits of darker marks and textures to help bring out the lights and give a sense of contrast to that foreground. It was breezy that morning and I was as I was doing the painting. And while it was chilly because of the breeze, it was a pretty dry wind, so it really helped my painting dry in a very timely fashion as I was working on it. So that worked out pretty well. Okay, well, I'd really like to know what you think. I'd like to hear from you. Please leave some comments in the comments section. Share with me your thoughts on what you've seen in this video. There's the final plein air study that I think I can work with to make a studio piece. Thanks for watching everyone. Have yourselves a great day. Take care. Bye.